Okay, greetings from Toronto, gentlemen. How are you? Hey, love Toronto. Yes, I know you, you've shot, you've shot a, a little series here called Designated Survivor, which we love. So we welcome oh, you both yeah. with open arms. Please come visit this summer. It's beautiful weather. Uh, con <laughs> congratulations. Um, I mean, this series is so awesome. Um, this, I'm honestly, LaMonica, I want to start with you because um, it's such a powerful journey. And to be able to do a prequel to a show that is so successful, uh, it really has to be such a gift. I wanted to know when you first got um, approached by by Taylor Sheridan, what jumped out at you to make you want to play this character? Uh, when I was reading, I read like two scripts before I got the part. And I knew I was seeing a character that I haven't seen before in Westerns. And I grew up watching Westerns. Uh, and to accurately tell this story how he did, it wasn't lost on me. And after I got the part, I'm reading, you know, more of my, my agents and reps who are a couple of scripts ahead of me. So they call me, you know, crying. I'm like, how'd I die? You know, what happened? What's, you know, like, no, like, just keep reading. And by yeah. the time I got to the end of it without giving anything away, you know, the story arc that Thomas has hasn't been seen in Westerns. And I knew like this was, it wasn't lost on me. And I, I stuck the landing. Other people would feel the same way as, as I felt when I was reading it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Eric, for you, I mean, Ennis, I, I, you know, we love Ennis, we do. He's, oh my goodness. You know, I don't wanna give anything away for people who have not seen it yet. This is the whole point, right? But I wanna right. know about your journey getting into this character because you guys had to go to cowboy camp. I mean, there was a lot of physical stuff going on. Tell me a little bit about becoming a cowboy. <laughs> Uh, well, it was it's actually when I first got the audition for the show, originally I was sent the character of Wade, which is kind of Ennis's cowboy counterpart on the show. Yes, yes. And um, the producers and casting wrote back almost within seconds. Love him, but he's he's he, we think he'd be much more right for Ennis. And so luckily Ennis was there for, for me to to grab onto. And um, again, it didn't take long for them to respond to to that and saying, all right, th that was it. Great. Um, and then we get thrown into cowboy camp, which is where we had a few weeks as a whole unit, as a whole cast to learn all the things we'd have to do on the show from riding to roping to shooting guns to cutting cattle to swimming across ponds and rivers on our horses. I mean, it was just fully immersive yeah. and uh, a time for us to just completely get one with not only uh, the nature and the animals that we'd be shooting with, but with our, our characters and what we'd actually be doing on the trail. So it was yeah. an incredibly experience. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's hot and it's dusty and, you know, LaMonica, you know, being able to live in this world that Taylor Sheridan gives you, I mean, he makes it so freaking authentic. That must have been, the best part of this whole deal i would think yeah from cowboy camp on i mean we were all in our bubble and it was you know during covid so we kind of had yeah. to stay within each other and but we would wake up together we all stayed on the same ranch together we'd have lunch together you know there wasn't like tim and faith weren't like i'll eat mine and my you know yeah what they were with us sam was we were all together together and um even the food that taylor served it was food that was in the 1800s if it wasn't bacon or beef or cornbread like that's what we were eating i felt sorry for the vegetarians on the show <laughs> because yeah. this is this is where we're at but yeah. it was so authentic it was so authentic that it wasn't a hard transition for us when we started filming to just stay in it stay in that world yeah. And Eric, you know, look, working with this cast, you know, honestly, for you as a as, as a young actor and, and just doing so well in your career already, but to have people like LaMonica, you know, Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, I mean, come on. And then Sam Elliott, which who you both obviously work so closely with. What, what's it like to have these these guys on set for you, Eric? Well, you know, you've got you've got this image in your mind because you've watched all these people on television and movies your whole life. And you just you pray and you hope that they're everything that you have imagined them to be and gracious people and, and giving people and nice people. And sometimes you show up and it's a letdown. The actors, uh, you know, for whatever reason, just they're, they're not who you thought they'd be. In our case, it was one thousand percent even beyond what I expected them to be. We got yeah. so lucky from Sam to, to, to everybody. 
the amount of love and support and encouragement and and everybody was each other's champions from one day one to the last day. It was just, it was incredible. And I, I think that's exactly why the show did what it did um, and reached yeah. people because it's, it's, there's these <laughs> are amazing people. Yeah, I know they say don't meet your heroes, but it, yes, in this case, this cast, I'd be happy to meet all of you. That that is for sure. <laughs> and Lamonica, just to wrap it up, you know, after after working on this show, what do you learn about yourself? How do you change? You know, does it make you a better person? Make you think about things? Yeah, uh, it it with technology, it life has become easier for people. Yeah. But you realize how lazy you become, you know, because of technology. Yeah. And I think back then we we had less, but we appreciate more. So it, it taking stuff from back then into present day helped me appreciate more of what I have, Yeah, you know, without needing as much. Like, because they didn't have as much back then, but they made it they work. embraced what they did have. Yeah, they made it work. And it was, yeah. it was, it was, yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations to the two of you on, uh, it's such a great series. I uh, love it so much. And I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for having us. Okay, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.